Capricorns are going to now, it's now trying to flip the script and have a new spiritual approach and the way you think about yourself. One of the biggest trends I see with Capricorns is they're constantly saying how hard life is um, when they wanted the entire empire and to own it all. So that's the paradox, y'all. You're like, life is tough. It's throwing me curveballs. It's so hard all the time. It's always an uphill battle. But you want to own the whole city block. Of course it's hard. <laughs> you want to be the king. Of course it's hard. But it comes from a past life where you didn't succeed. You didn't thrive. You didn't make it. You didn't pull off your goals. And so your mindset had this sort of just waiting for the next thing to go wrong attitude. Okay. So your mental attitude has to be one of faith. One of assumption that God's got your back, assume it has already happened instead of worry, fear, um, anxiety, doubt, guilt, a lot of guilt in Capricorn's minds, a lot of guilt, and really adopt a new faithful attitude when you talk to yourself and think of yourself. <clears throat> now, what your mind has to flip is in your belief in yourself. And I think that your belief in yourself has always been, when I see it, I'll believe it. And I think Capricorns and Capricorn Risings have to go, I'll believe it so that I can see it. So I think you have to believe first, see later, as far as the attitude adjustment going on inside of your head around self-belief. Now, when it comes to self-worth, I am seeing Capricorns starting to love themselves in real ways. I really am. I'm real proud of you and Capricorn Risings. You are really loving yourself, genuinely showing up. You are seeing the job as loving yourself and said the job is showing up for your job. And so you have amazing soul capital right now with self-love. You have the biggest bank account probably in the Zodiac for self-love next to Leo's. They're always going to be the gold meisters of that. But it's now time to take that self-love and spend it on self-worth. To give yourself energetic, non-material credit for what you're worth. It's now time to own vibrationally your self-worth self-worth is a vibration it is not a account balance all right it is not a deed to a property it is not a hot person on your arm it is in fact a vibration so spend that self-love on some soul capital vibration it's serious joy joy joy